Welcome to the final course in this three-part series on creating freestanding lacework in Hatch. In part one, we created two different kinds of bookmarks. We'll be using these in this project, so have yours ready. In part two, we personalize those bookmarks, and we're going to be doing a similar process in this course. So for the beginning version, we just added lettering on top of the motif-filled bookmark, and in the challenge version, we cut out those openings and then we digitized in the structure. And we're going to be doing those same techniques in this project. In this course, we'll start out by digitizing rows. Now we have this included artwork and we're going to talk about how to interpret artwork for embroidery. And if you look carefully at my rows, you'll see that it doesn't exactly match my artwork. And of course, we'll talk about planning because all projects start with planning. Now for beginners, we're just going to take that rose design that we digitized and we'll just stick it on top of our motif filled bookmark. If you're up for a challenge, we'll add the rose to the other version of the bookmark. Then we'll cut out behind the rose and then we'll digitize in the structure. And here you can see my structure. Now this course is the finale in our three part series on lace. So we hope you've completed the other two courses before attempting this one. This course includes video and text lessons, and you'll have try it lessons to apply what you've learned. You'll also get artwork for your project and you'll get completed design files. And you can see what they look like stitched out here. Where do you find this course? You'll find it in the all access area of the Hatch Academy.